Welcome to this week's edition of TRKL TV. Jamie, freshly home from the Gold Coast, where you've bought a couple of nice horses over there. Yeah, we managed to get four on day one. Um, bought three lovely fillies, a zoo star, we we're really impressed with them. Um, and I'm an invincible filly, the so size just absolutely on fire over there, and she looks a real two-year-old. We've bought a lovely Camelot filly out of a good mare here, holy moly. So, three nice fillies, all the info's on the website, and be sure to get involved in them, because I know that the shares will go very quickly. Alright, let's get into our runners for the weekend. We'll start at Trenton, the premier meeting. The first of them, the two-year-old, the half to marky mark, steps out in the two-year-old 1200 metre race, Opie to ride. Aquilo, yeah, he's only had one trial for one win. Um, the format of that trial is good with Felton Road going on and winning. He's still a, a little bit of an immature green sort of horse, only one trial usually would give them one more, but uh, look, he's got plenty of natural ability and he's a pretty classy colt. So we go down there for a bit of a trip away and, and Dave particularly wanted Opie to ride him, so that's why we're there and hopefully he's going to get a nice run from that. Just a touch awkward draw. Alright, in the Group 3 Wellington Stakes, Sebro steps up to the 2100, Opie jumps board as well. Yeah, his last run at Stratford was good, um, probably a little bit firmer down there than what he really likes, but uh, look, he's a horse that's getting a bit fitter as we try and get him into the Auckland Cup. This race is another stepping stone, he'll have one more run in the Avondale Cup, but he's certainly improving all the time. There's a quality field, but hopefully he's a good each way chance. In the Group 1 Living Classic, Hall of Fame's drawn barrier one, similar to, or the same as what he drew at Ellerslie on Boxing Day. Yeah, no, he's... Uh, lovely colt in great form, obviously he drew one there as you said and got a gun run in behind him, hopefully hope he can do the same down there. Savile Road probably looks the one to beat but look he's in very good form and I know that Steve and Opie were really pleased with his gallop during the week and uh, um, Dan said he's travelled down there in terrific waters so um, we're still scratching our heads a little bit about 2000 guineas at Rickon but hopefully he can redeem himself here after uh, not going as well as we, what, what, what we expected in the 2000 guineas and obviously not having much luck this day last year. Alright, at LSD three runners also, we start in race two with Heroic Vela stepping back out. Yeah, look, probably not the ideal race for him at 1500 first up, but uh, when Al Pony moved their meeting to Wellington last week, we thought we'd bit better to stay close to the home. So he goes into this as his lead up to the Cracker Mile. His work with Hall of Fame has been spot on, and obviously galloped in between races with Extravagant on the 29th. But, at Ellerslie, so um, look, he's got a little bit of an awkward draw, probably not a horse that we'd want to rush too much first up over 1500, so just look for him to be attacking the line, but he should be a very good chance at the weight. Another one going to the Cracker Mile is Foreigner, last start winner, uh, Rotorua, Lethal, let's jump aboard. Yeah, look, he's a pretty progressive sort of galloper by Saverville, the further he goes, the better he's going to be, um, but you know, his work during the week's been spot on, obviously his win was very tough after being three deep at Rotorua without any cover, so He's a logical improver into that race and uh, hopefully he should be a good In the two year old race, Melody Bell comes off the last start third at Trentham. Had a short freshen up, steps back out here as a lead up to the Cracker Million. Yeah, look, um, we've been really pleased with this filly. Um, very good run at Wellington off a tough, tough draw. She's three deep outside the speed and, and never gave it away. Two weeks in the paddock after that, she's come back in in really good order. And, um, you know, she's got an awkward draw, but she is qualified for the minions, so just look for her to go back a little bit and running and attack the line really strongly, and she'll be peaking for two weeks' time. All right, Jamie, of the six runners tomorrow, what's the best of them? Heroic Bella looks a likely horse. Um, he's a very special colt, and hopefully he can step back out in good order as we get him ready for the cracking minion. All right, we wish our owners all the very best, and don't forget to check out the website for those horses we've bought on the Gold Coast this week.